On the way up here, I was following a trail. This trail's been here for literally decades upon decades, if not for hundreds of years. Along it, you saw different elements, some ramps and different things that I was stopping at and showing you. Well, all that stuff was built by Adele. This is part of uh, her mountain bike run that starts uh, a couple of kilometers back in the bush. There's a huge uh, technical ladder that she's been working on for the last couple of seasons that uh, when it's done, I'll go up and videotape it. It's, it's pretty damn impressive. More so than when you consider, you know, she's been up here by herself, dragging lumber up, dragging tools up, dragging her mountain bike up. So yeah, this is uh, where you come out of the flat and then you start the downhill to that jump I did some burpees by and that berm that uh, veers to the left. But uh, yeah, so pretty impressive for this five foot seven, 115 pound um, woman in her 40s to be able to, to do this. And uh, the reason I'm bringing this up today is because on the way down, I'm gonna talk about strength <clears throat> and not the type of strength that uh, is classically exhibited by uh, folks with muscles or uh, the cardiovascular strength of a long distance runner or the uh, explosive powerlifting strength of uh, you know, an Olympic weightlifter. I'm talking about the strength of character, the strength that lies within each and every one of us that unfortunately has been socially engineered through food and through blatant societal programming to, uh, to diminish that or shut that off. And you can liken that to the, uh, the will to survive if you want. A little stop here. You know, I talk about heart, intestinal fortitude, you know, the strength of uh, your character, the, the strength of your convictions, the strength of your ideologies. All of these strengths make up who you are. The physical strength that uh, individuals are able to exhibit is just, uh, you know, you're just a uh, pimp in your suitcase, so to speak, because that's all our bodies are, something to... Uh, to carry us for this part of the journey that we're all on. So, if your strength is derived from the spirituality of having religious faced or religious religious based faith, that's that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, as long as you're able to recognize the other people on the planet and nature itself as being what matters more so than believing what your God may or may not say. This is the burden that she's been working on. Come cruising through here at about 40 or 50 K and cut back up this way. The strength of humanity, of mankind, of men and women, it is what kept us alive for thousands upon thousands of years. The instinct to survive, the will to overcome and adapt. And again, I harken back to the fact that that has been engineered. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below about a really good documentary that talks about the uh, history of societal engineering. And if you're new to the whole, uh, uh, you know, shit show or matrix, whatever you want to call it. If you're just new to this, then this will definitely give you an insight as to why this programming has been so successful. Here's another little berm she built. Come down here and just cut this way. Whoa, a little jump. Strength of your character. Do you talk the talk and then walk the walk. Um, I know I do. And uh, I can only use myself as an example and uh, give you guys observations of what I've noticed over the 47 years of my life. An empty can makes the most noise. Those uh, are the types that say a lot of stuff. <clears throat> I know a lot of it sounds really good. Problem is, 
I never do anything upon it or about it. I talk about the evolution of, of myself and the person I am today is different than the guy yesterday who's different than the guy last year or the last decade and so forth. I honestly see that. I recognize that. I recognize that I was going to evolve as a person as I got older. When I was a gong show in my 20s, trust me, I was a gong show. I knew that by the time I got to my 50s, which is, you know, three years and change away, that I'd be pretty mellowed out and, you know, probably have my head on to some degree. And you know what? I've watched over the decades as that has transpired. My evolution of, of thought, uh, the, the whole being awake, conceptualization, as, as I've said, I have uh, pretty much been bucking the system my whole entire life. And I'm not going to extrapolate on that for any degree because that would be hours upon hours of video alone. That's not what this is about, but... Yeah, I always knew something wasn't right with the way things were and with what they presented to you. And being a child of the early 70s, you know, television was a big part of the, uh, the engineering of me and my generation. And it has continued subsequently from television to entertainment to the colors they use on the Lucky Charms box in the grocery store. Here's another joke. Yes, indeed. Strength of character. Well, wait, I'm gonna see if I can pick up the mountains. Just bear with me, folks. It's these little tidbits in my life that uh, really, really make it all worthwhile for me. It's gonna maybe suck for you guys because obviously uh, no camera, they're, they're starting to come in. No camera can uh, mimic how the, uh, the lens of the human eye works, but those are only, uh, that mountain range is 40 minutes west of me, and that leads to the, uh, the coastal range beyond that. When I went to Tatla Lake the other day, uh, those are the mountains you saw. Here we go. Don't know what my editing is going to be like on this because uh, I know I'm starting to ramble and shit and go all over the place, but I just thought I'd share a little bit of my, uh, my backyard. Thank you to uh, Her Majesty the Queen. Because in Canada, uh, if it's not owned by a company or a corporation or a person, it is owned by the Crown, Her Majesty Crown Land. You folks down in the uh, States get the uh, pleasure of having the administrative arm of the Bureau of Land Management, um, you know, take care and manage your quote-unquote public land. Here, uh, the public land belongs to the Crown, end of fucking story. But yes. The strength that lies in your heart. Do you believe what you say? Do you believe what you feel? Or are you just an empty can making a lot of noise? You know, mimicking what the, the popular trend of the day may be. You see it. You see it on the mainstream. You see it on alternative medias. You have people parroting the same thing over and over and over again. Clucking like chickens. On the way up, I stopped at the street and did some burps. Uh, I don't know how old it is, but it was uh, obviously a lightning strike. We just really like it. And I do know that some squirrels live in it. Just ask my dogs. Speaking of which, they're not with me for this excursion because when they come up the trail, two of the younger guys get a little gong showy. So this was about... Uh, me and you spending some time today together and uh, enjoying a little bit of the great outdoors. Here's another uh, stop and take a look. I'll do some zooming, zooming, zooming. Love that sound. Nothing but nature, baby. Nothing but nature. So yeah. A lot of chirping going on. A lot of shit not being done. 
keep seeing people waking up or talking about more folks being cognitive to what's going on. Part of me think that, thinks that it's a good thing. Part of me also thinks that uh, there's a great deal of people whose job is to sit on social networks and chirp. They're either trolling or they're gathering information or they're playing buddy buddy. So, another thing that I've noticed lately uh, pertaining to that is uh, it seems that uh, the folks that are running the show are trying to get away from the image of the big bad banker. They're going to be all become more environmentally friendly. Let's all have a green, happy earth together. I'm sure that'll work out in everyone's favor. So, just coming down to the last part of the trail here. All you see this on the ground is all wind blown. And uh, we have a wood burning furnace as well as propane. So for the winter, we like to use free fuel from Mother Nature. Strengths. The true strength of an individual comes from within. Be who you are. Be true to yourself. Be true to others. Be true to the planet. Lead by example. Don't be an empty can making a lot of noise. I don't know if you guys noticed this, this cord. <laughs> um, you might have noticed it on the way up on the ground. What that is, is uh, that was for the uh, radio station and the, uh, the weather tower that used to be located on our property back in the late 50s and 60s when this little patch of nowhere, nowhere in the middle of nowhere was part of the Pine Tree Radar Line, Punsy Mountain Air Base for the United States Air Force. I do like them apples. And who fucking lives out there now? <laughs> I do. So yeah, my shop is the last remaining building. I can take you around sometime and show you some other shit. But here we are, back on the corner of the property. You guys take care of one another. Remember, train hard, train smart. I'll see you next time. Have a good weekend.